All right, on this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly test a fan and limit switch control. Uh, let me explain you guys what this limit switch does. So, uh, on this side, on your left side, it says fan and line. So this will control the blower motor on your furnace. It's usually 120, well, it's gotta be 120. Um, this is just a switch. It opens and closes. So if your blower motor is not running, what what you guys should do is get a voltmeter, put the settings on continuity, and uh, once you put your voltmeter in continuity, it should make this sound. All right, and then put one of the lead on one side of the switch the bottom one and then the other one the top one all right after you do that you get a a small screwdriver or a pen and turn this dial all right once you turn it it will click and this multimeter should make a sound all right so that means the fan side of the limit control is working properly. When you release it, it should click off and says uh, open line over here, all right? So, remember that this side has to spin and reach 100 degrees before the fan turns on, all right? And on this side, this side right here, it says uh, limit line, all right? So this is a switch as well. If you put one lead at the bottom and then the other one on top, same thing. But this one is the opposite. This one is supposed to be closed all the time, okay? It's supposed to make this sound. This one only will open when the furnace is really hot up to 180 degrees or 200. Depends the settings on this guy right here, the third dial right here. So if you put your, your pen or your small screwdriver and spin this guy around until it hits that's the fan. Second click is the high limit. So that means, you see it's not making that noise. That means the, your furnace reach 180 degrees or 200 degrees temperature, and it has to shut off the gas valve. All right, once this spin backwards and it cools down, the heat exchanger cools down, it will close the line Hear that? And it will open the gas valve and uh, your furnace will start to heat the heat exchanger again. All right? And uh, that's how it works. If you put your meter like this and it's not making this sound, it's more likely that this guy is bad. So it has to be normally close at all time unless your heat exchanger is up to 180 degrees or 200 degrees all right that's how it works and uh and if if it's not doing that replace it this is going to be your problem and there's another thing that i want to explain to you guys is on this fan limit controls, it has uh, three settings. One, one is at 100 degrees, is when the blower motor is supposed to shut off. And 130 degrees, that's when your blower motor is supposed to kick on. And then at 180 degrees or 200, that's when your gas valve is supposed to shut off 
and cools down the heat exchanger for safety reasons, okay? So this is how you uh, set these guys up because uh, if you set this one at 50 degrees, your blower motor might not stop running and it will continuously run like even on summertime so something to keep in mind that if your first setting is at 50 degrees that's more likely that your blower motor will run even when it's like 80 degrees out there right so the first one has to be at 90 or 100 degrees and the second one has to be 30 degrees separate at least because you don't want a short cycling either and then the third one usually i like to put it at 180 degrees you don't need 200 all right that's how this works and hopefully it's gonna help someone out there thanks for watching and please like and subscribe thank you